Yes, this is Laura. That's who you were playing with. Over here with me, this is Boulder. Boulder is an eight-year-old male California sea lion. <laughs> with a lovely singing voice as well. Next to me in the green, that is Kyle. Kyle is working with the oldest animal out here, or the oldest sea lion out here. He is Nipper. He is 13 years old. And then last but not least, you'll probably see her reappear a little bit later in the session, is Angela. And Angela is working with Lou, who is an 11-year-old male California sea lion. Now we're out here, we are feeding our animals. We do feed a variety of fish, a small lean fish called Caitlin, a large fatty fish called Herring. In the winter time, we also feed mackerel to help build up that blubber layer, as that is also a very fatty fish. And in the summertime, occasionally they get squid, as a special treat. Now the amounts that they are getting, they do vary individually as well as seasonally. So for instance, right now, Mia is eating about 12 to 13 pounds of fish a day, whereas an older male like Nipper is eating closer to 20 pounds of fish every single day. And this is their summer diets. In the winter time, that number about doubles because we wanna make sure that they're comfortable out here because they do stay out here all year long. And we want to make sure that they're comfortable and warm to build up that nice thick lower layer. Now we're not only out here feeding our animals, we are also working on some training as well. We use positive reinforcement training to train not only our seals and sea lions, but the animals all over the zoo. It around. And that's how we get a majority of the behaviors that you're seeing today. Now I'm going to quickly check in with the rest of my trainers. How's everybody doing? Sounds like we are getting a little bit low. The reason I ask you want to try to end our animals around the same time. That way they don't feel the need to compete with one another for clear attention. And once we do end the session, we will be exiting the exhibit fairly quickly after that. I do want to remind everyone that we do have one more sea lion show in our arena at 2.30. So if you haven't gotten your sea lion fix, and I honestly don't know how you could get a sea lion fix, but we do have one more show over there, so feel free to check it out over there. There's some different, different animals different behaviors, and of course, all the jokes. So, with that, I'm going to wrap up our feeding and training session now here. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. Hopefully you learned a little something.